What's up, y'all? Down South 77 coming back at you for one more again. This three star draw. I'd like to welcome y'all back. This is a channel where we as adults like to talk about kids' toys, namely G.I. Joe Classified. Except we know they're not kids' toys. Hasbro, we see what you did there. Ain't nobody under 30 buying these things. It's all our old ass. But we're buying them, and for us, we're trying to give them to kids, nieces, nephews, whatever. Trying to get them into G.I. Joe, and I'm all about it. But with them being aimed at us, there's certain things that I expect as a consumer. So this is kind of a follow-up to my video yesterday about my mole rat. I uh, took him out, and as soon as I started moving his right arm, trying to trying to pose and check for tolerance, his right arm just, wow, just popped off. The whole cup and all, and I know it's a cup. I always call it a cuff. I called it a cuff in the video. They mean the same thing. Down here, we don't call anything by its right name. Y'all should know that. So, I saw somebody else today that had the same issue with their figure. And same arm, same problem. And I'm seeing people that are like, oh, well, just, you know, heat it all up and put it back together and freeze it. Or, you know, put some glue on it and you know to make more friction in there and i ain't trying to do all that i opened my brand new toy and the damn things broke i want a new toy that's just how i am i mean there's some things like I, i'll i'll do that with these these floppy weapons that we're getting you know i'll try that i'll try to bend them back but if i take something out of the box and i or, and it falls apart or I open the box and it's already falling apart, that bad boy's going back. Like, I ain't even fooling with it. I shouldn't have to do all that. I just gave you, in Tennessee, it's about $28 after tax for one figure. Come on, man. So I talked to my cousin and told him what happened, and I was doing my review, and he said, well, did you, did you get that live? And I said, well, no, I stopped the video because I had to reposition my camera and I wanted to go ahead and get all that crinkly rolling paper shit out of the way. And I wanted to go ahead and get them ties cut because I like to cut them from the back, which is very hard to do. And you just about have to pull them up and then use something else to cut them. It takes a minute. I don't want to scratch up the artwork on the coffin and I don't want to scratch up the paint on my figure. So I stopped the camera and he said, oh man, that would have been awesome, you know, would have been better, would have been awesome, but if you had a got the shot where you were actually taking them out. And I guess he's alluding that some people might think, like I went ahead and took him out and was messing with him and, and did something to it before I started the camera rolling again. And I, it's just not the case. I didn't, I didn't do that because I don't want a broke figure. I ain't trying to gripe and, like, cause a bunch of headache for me trying to send it back or replace it or whatever. And, like, I want that figure. That's why I ordered it. He, he's not, I don't want him broke. I want him out so I can move him around and play with him and do mole rat shit. Look for Energon with his little lantern. I, I don't want a broke figure. So, today, the Pulse Fairy came via FedEx. Uh, amazingly, they found the right house and got my stuff delivered. So I got a couple more mole rats that I had ordered from Pulse. So I thought what I'd do is I would make this follow-up video, and I am going to reposition my camera and focus in on those two new ones. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open them, both of them, right there on the spot after I get the camera done, and we'll just have to get it cut out, and we're going to find out exactly what's going on with them all right we back and i accidentally hit stop instead of pause so i guess this is going to be a two-parter that i'm going to stick together but either way the point is these guys still sealed up so we're going to do them one at a time here using this exacto and we're going to see if i'm supposed to go away from you kid uh we're going to see what it looks like See if these are jacked up. Give me a minute here to get them out of the tie. So, all right. Well, well, yep. Click right there. 
Can I see that? I can't. I don't know. Yep. Look, this time it's the left arm. There's all my ties. And, yep. A little piece is off. Man, this is really disappointing. I don't even know where that piece is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yes, man. This some, this some bullshit right here. <laughs> so that is uh, two mole rats from two different places. I mean, they're probably out of the same batch, but man, it's disappointing. I love, I love this figure, boy. He's he's quickly going down in yeehaws, isn't he? Jesus. So, well, let's look at this one. And zoop, go put this out of the way. I really shouldn't have sharp objects, but they're not looking. I'll be damned, both arms are attached. Huh, look at there. Wait, what? What is that? So this there's a loose tie here. It it's not. Man, look, they can't even get the they can't even get them tied in there right. Oh, Y'all see that? Look. In there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's the other end of it. It wasn't even holding it down. And I guess my neighbors are home. That's what pretzel in the other rooms in there telling me. So this is what I'm gonna do this time. I don't like doing this, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to just use this dull exacto blade. Oh, you could do them like that. I'm just too worried about scratching the paint up. So, all right, so there's. There's this dude out of the way. So, all right, so he's hey, this this one he's a little wobbly. He's not bad. All right, so wish me luck, folks. Oh, I'm not even gonna pull on it a little bit. I'm really tempted fate. Let's try this one over here. Oh, oh, he actually looky there. Got a T pose, pretty good one too. Legs, might as well go check. Make sure they're not going to fall apart too on me. Dang, I was hoping to have a small army of these guys displayed by the weekend. A contingent, anyway. But, alas, I'm not going to have very many of them because they're all going to be packed up in the box. Ready to go back. Two of them, anyway. So, there it is. Uh, I've went over everything else already. So, I'm going to take Deadite head here and equip him and go have some fun doing some pictures with him so we will see you guys next time i appreciate it if you like subscribe if that's your thing i will see you guys next time